What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Bond's apartment. Another YouTube video. Today we are going to be reviewing the Crockett and Jones Molten as seen in No Time to Die. Yes, one year ago, better late than never. Let's check it out. Crockett and Jones mold. Let's do a little background here. So this shoe, as I said, has seen in no time to die. We see it in the Norway scenes. This is a uh, kind of an everyday shoe. Um, definitely a winter, fall type shoe. It's a chukka boot. I've always wanted Crockett and Jones shoes. I really have. But when you think Crockett and Jones, you really think dress shoes, Oxfords, wherever. Oh. I just quoted no time, Casino Royale, I didn't mean to. Into Oxford or wherever. So it's Oxford, wherever. Working from home because of COVID, I couldn't really justify buying Crockett and Jones dress shoes for a couple of reasons. One, they're expensive. Two, I'm only wearing dress shoes to weddings, basically. So where I used to wear them every day, now I'm not wearing them even once a month, once every couple of months. So, I've had my eye on these shoes for a while, but I never got them. Of course, the price point, um, and you know, mainly the price point. But at this point, who cares, right? So when you get Crockett and Jones, they come in this green box with the very famous gold Crockett and Jones logo. So, and this is of course a pseudo unboxing. I've already worn these a few times, but I keep looking this way because I have the window open. I don't usually have the window open when I do this. So like, sorry. So, pseudo unboxing. We'll start with the dust bags. So of course, shoes like this come with a dust bag, one for each shoe, okay? So there's actually two of these in here. Green, Crockett and Jones. Got the little tassel thing here to tighten this up. When you put the shoe in, if I can do it, you know, there you go. So that's one. And then here's the other one. This is the one I haven't actually touched. So that's kind of what it looks like when it shows up in the actual box. Obviously a nice touch. For the price, they're about to be, right? So here's the actual shoe. So this is the Molten, as seen in No Time to Die, in the screen accurate dark brown. So like I said, this is what you see him wearing in the Norway scenes. First, first thought when I put him in my hand is heavy, but not heavy in a sense where you're thinking, wow, these are too heavy. Heavy in a sense where you're thinking these are incredibly well made. And all this goes without saying, anybody watching this knows Crockett and Jones, very high end brand, handmade shoes, Goes without saying they're gonna be well made. I'll try to skip right past that. But that's what you think. They're heavy and for good reason. So this, I did a little research, is last number 336. So last in the cobbler world means the actual kind of wooden foot that they mold a shoe around. So the interesting thing about this shoe is it is now currently the only shoe that Crockett and Jones makes that uses last number 336. So it's a particular fit of the shoe. It is basically the reason it fits the way it does is because they molded it around last number 336. So that last in particular has a broad square toe and increased toe depth. With its wider forepart, it is generous fitting across the ball of the foot. 336 only featured for a short time in the collection. Today, like I said, only used in this shoe. So that's kind of interesting. This is literally the only shoe you can get with Crockett and Jones that fits this way at this point in time. So that's very interesting. Next, we'll move on to another very key, key piece of the shoe. 
and that is the sole. So the sole of this shoe is also made by a different brand called Danite. D-A-I-N-I-T-E. Hopefully I didn't butcher the way that that is pronounced. But of course it says Crock and Jones on here, made in England. But this pattern you can see here, these kind of circular balls with the raised kind of grip sole piece here is actually a company called Danite. Danite, Danite. It's gotta be one of the two, right? So just all the way around, you look at this shoe, and of course, it's, it's exquisite. The fact that it's handmade makes it even more precious. When you really take a look at everything about it, it's immaculate. It really, really is. So I'll take the other one out of here for good measure. Crockett and Jones logo. Other first thoughts about this shoe. So I actually bought a pair of Clark's Chuckas to kind of do the frugal thing with these shoes. And I was a little nervous about buying these because those ones, the tighter they are around my foot, the tongue kind of digs into the top of my foot. And that's not abnormal with chukkas because it's not just this huge cushiony shoe. It's really just leather all the way around. And it's not thick, you know what I mean? It's not like, like a, like a running shoe. I mean, it's not supposed to be. So that was my biggest fear with these. But of course, once I got these in the mail, you immediately realize the difference between Clark's and Crockett and Jones. No matter how tight I make these shoes, they're actually very comfortable. I had heard mixed things from different people about how comfortable these shoes actually are. And I find them to be pretty darn comfortable. So I've worn these a few times. Um, people also get worried wearing these because of the color, and this tends to happen with the chukka. Um, you know, one thing I would highly recommend, when you're taking the shoe off, don't use your other shoe to take it off. You can scuff this. So that's what people get worried about, is these getting scuffed. I'd say I've probably worn these about four or five times already, and I haven't been particularly ginger with them, and they're holding up just fine. And of course, like anything else like this, once it gets a little bit of wear on there, I think it's gonna make it look even better. They almost look too new, if that's even a thing. But that's it, nothing crazy, simple review. Highly recommend, if you're gonna buy a Crockett and Jones shoe, make sure it's something you can wear all the time. As a collector, they release you know the James for No Time to Die, of course, the box they come in, the whole 007 fanfare that comes along with it, the logos in there. It's great, but I, I won't wear it all the time. I'm not in the office anymore. So these are something that I can find myself wearing all the time. That is what I tend to do when I buy pretty much anything Bond related that's sartorial uh, fashion wise. So that's what I recommend. I do recommend these. Thank you guys for watching. This has been the review of the Molten Crockett and Jones Chucka as seen in No Time to Die. I appreciate you guys. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.